football since he's been at UNLV. No room for Thomas. He loses a yard. Pressure from Corbin Kafusi. That sends him back near the 30. The defense shows up. Evan Pantels trying from 47. Joe Critchlow makes his first career start at quarterback for BYU, and he finds Braden Elb. True freshman out of Franklin, Tennessee, record-setting quarterback at Franklin High School, had a lot of interest from SEC and ACC schools, but some of those offers waned when they realized he wanted to go on a two-year mission. Ends up going to Montreal after signing with Southern Utah, but while he's on his mission, Kalani Sataki gets hired, Ed Lamb, who was the man who signed him to Southern Utah, comes to BYU as part of the staff, and he follows Ed Lamb, who's now the special teams coordinator here at BYU, follows him to Provo, Utah, and is now getting an opportunity as the starting QB. He gets the opportunity as Ty Detmer's QB. Squally Canada seeking space, hit by Farrell Hester. 99 in the middle, Mike Hughes. Johnny on the spot. That rushing attack against that Miami front seven. Can't wait. Stanton nearly picked off. Richlow got rid of it, and he finds Aleva Hifo. Run out of bounds. But Stanton. Lost the football, and it is caught by a teammate in Cody Schiff. Micah Hanneman comes up, puts his helmet on the football. Wow, what a crazy play. Unconventional way to pick up a first down, Adam. We'll bring four. Stanton picked off. Held on to Zane Anderson, second career pick. Wildcat look here for Austin Kofensis. And he has a good run out across the 40. Critchlow has a man. And sandwiched in between two defenders is Micah Simon. And throw from Joe Critchlow. He's given time in the pocket, max protection, and fits that football right in between two defenders. Showing pressure. They're bringing it. Critchlow to Hifo. First down, BYU. And Hifo with a nifty move towards the pylon. Touchdown, Cougars. Where's the ball, though, when his foot's that, out? That's a good that, point. That's where the spot's going to be, probably at the one-yard line. El Bakri. Touchdown. This one will count. Good run for Lexington. Thomas into BYU territory and still moving inside the third. This time Thomas trying to stretch. It's just power O and Lexington Thomas bounces it outside one on one against the safety. Okay, that's a touchdown. Adnan, thanks very much. We'll talk to you three in moments. And as spry as I've seen him all season, Squally Cannon. Hifo. Richlow finds Bushman, and he's right at the sticks. No different here. Four man rush. And an excellent pocket for Joe Critchlow, really becoming a master in that. Canada takes it into UNLV territory. Good route runner. One on one. Shumway. Was he out of bounds though? He was. Bad from Jericho Flowers. He's got to keep his foot in bounds. That's a good thrown football. Hifo, 
He spun behind the sticks, and then... A TCU Oklahoma, our buddies at Fox have that one. And of course, we've got Notre Dame Miami, and BYU has a first down. 5-6 matchup, some great college football on the slate tomorrow. Critchlow, beautiful throw to Bushman into the red zone. Canada tripped up and the ball came loose. It was Pops. Arms down, he had possession of the football when he made contact. The runner was down at the 11-yard line. Ball here. I'm looking... <laughs> I'm he's, looking for 89 Matt Bushman. By the way, he's still pleading his case. No, it was the ground. It was the ground. He's, he was icing on the cake, Adam. Critchlow has a man. It's caught by Hifo, but was he in bounds? They're going to say touchdown. Corner route. It's a well-thrown ball by Critchlow. Just throw it to the pylon. Does he sneak the foot in? No possession. Now he's got the ball. It's a good call by the official. Wow! A what a what a job by Aleva Hifo. Keeping that foot on the ground long enough just as he can BYU offense. Big run for Squally Canada. Who's got the speed? Squally inside the 15-yard line of UNLV. We talked about him earlier. Watch him lead up on the linebacker, open up a big gaping hole. El Bakri on Gabe McCoy, springs the big run for Squally Canada. Burst through the hole, but them hammies tight. Austin Kofensis, a wildcat. Takes it inside the junior college. And Kofensis ends up with a first down here. Canada. Touchdown BYU. Excellent start to half number two. Offense early in the second half. Stanton finding Presley. Where is that forward progress going to be? Short of the sticks. I think maybe a half yard shy. Joe Critchlow and BYU right back to work. Right back to 11. Canada. Nice cut, and he drags Farrell. You know, underneath for Bushman. He got a few yards to set up third down immediate. And BYU. Holding number 90, kicking team. 10 yard penalty from the previous spot. Still fourth down. The first BYU penalty of the night came at a seemingly in up. This is the best kind of cocktail in Las Vegas right now. There goes Darren Woods inside the BYU 40 yard line. Stanton. And it is caught by Presley for a touchdown. What time is it? Ask Flava Flav. Flav, of course Flav. he knows. He's here to watch his godson, by the way. Rashad Walker is his godson on the UNLV team. He frequents UNLV football games. Ways and give their offense extra possessions. Gets that potent offense for Notre Dame. Critchlow with a nice throw downfield. He finds Tab. Four rushing touchdowns. It's a potent rushing attack for the Irish. I think Jonathan said something like. I believe they can hold him to around. How about Hard Rock Stadium? Though? That place has been jumping recently, understandably so. Canada got caught up. Canada again. Another good run. Down to the 11-yard line. Hits it full speed downhill. Canada's got 133 tonight. He had 333 all year coming into tonight. They go back to the Wildcat. Austin Kofensis, open lane touchdown. First career score for the Red. LV. 
The final play of the third quarter is a Stanton run. Gets the Rebels down 28 to 14. To this program, and he said from day one, complete buy-in from this senior class. But year history. Third down and seven. Stanton launches, has a man. It is caught by Drew Tech. Stanton on a run, loses a yard. Butch Powell marked down if this game turns in UNLV's favor. Over the middle to Boyd, touchdown Rebels, and they're right back in it. 45 yard line for BYU, up by seven. And Squally Canada has been a stud so far tonight. He takes it to midfield. Fences comes in as Canada limped off. Bushman. The factors we talked about for BYU to throw it before he won it. Canada behind that line. Another good run. Down to the 20. Canada dragging Mark Fina. Second down and three. Defensis, Wildcat, first down. The ball's loose and out of bounds. It will stay with BYU. This from 28. And this makes it a two score lead. Stanton, some contact there as he was looking for. Clock is wrong. I guess he forgot the memo in terms of turning your clocks back or forward. Meanwhile, it's been squally time all night for BYU. Four minute drill run. I don't know if it makes it number five. I know Alabama's dealing with some linebacker injuries. Defense is still salty. Squally Canada doing it again. Man standing next to you. We've done that this evening. Canada holding on to that football. Team for BYU. UNLV now out of timeouts. Will stop Canada, put 40 on the play clock. Uh, a lot of things would have to falter in front of them if they're going to make it. Going for it on fourth down. Incomplete. Looking for Simon. He can't go 88, turn around, get an onside. And two score game, no timeouts now for Stanton and the Rebels. And that'll do it. Fred Warner. Will take it inside the five and seal the deal for BYU. Excellent job reading the quarterback's eyes. It's zone coverage, never takes his eyes off the quarterback, reads him the whole way, steps in front of the pass. And the savvy veteran with a game. There hasn't been finger pointing. There hasn't been people complaining. Everybody knows within that program how difficult this season's been with the injuries, with the lack of success. Yet tonight they show up, leave it all on the field, and come away with the victory.